I was asked to serve on a faculty committee back in the year 2000 uh, by then President Chuck Fest. And the charge to our committee was to come up with a new strategy for e-learning for MIT. Everyone else was doing e-learning. MIT wasn't. And so uh, the president felt that we should come up with a new and bold idea uh, for MIT. Of course, year 2000 was still the era of the dot-com days. And so the assumption going in was that we would create an MIT.com uh, and, uh, and enter into some kind of venture. Maybe take up uh, the materials that faculty created and uh, sell them. Okay? That was one idea. But as we got into the discussion, uh, there were maybe seven or eight of us. Uh, it got smaller as the months went by. Uh, it became apparent to us that the idea of MIT.com was not the right idea. There are a number of reasons for it. Uh, we interviewed uh, about 60 organizations that were doing e-learning. And from those interviews, the one thing that we learned was that this is really a tough area to, to do business in. Uh, that was one, uh, one question that we had. We did try to, do, uh, to build business models. Uh, we had Booz Allen and Hamilton people helping us. And uh, we worked very hard at creating a number of business models. Uh, we did lots of surveys to get credible data. And uh, uh, the business models that we were able to create, the most credible one, had us uh, starting year one and about year five, we'd break even, you know, which is not unusual for a venture. But the problem with that business model was that after year five, it was sort of flattened. There's no this sort of hockey stick uh, uptick in, uh, in, in revenue. And uh, we thought, you know, if we're going to do something, we wanted to see at least the potential of uh, uh, having major source of revenue that could help MIT. It didn't seem to be there. The, <coughs> the most important reason, though, was that we interviewed about 60 faculty members who had already put up their materials on the web, on their own. And we wanted to see what their motivation was. You know, if, if we're going to do MIT.com, we need to understand the faculty's motivation. And so we interviewed every one of them. And without exception, they told us, one, they were doing this to try to improve their classroom teaching. Two, they are not getting compensated. Uh, and three, uh, that uh, they, uh, were uh, they were sacrificing their own time, you know, research time, time with their family, to do this. So this is you know, where you find MIT faculty's real commitment, I mean, real commitment to teaching. And that's what we found. And uh, when we discussed this uh, in the committee, it was uh, October of year 2000, this was the last meeting before we had to start writing a report to President Vest. We said, you know, it doesn't seem right that we would take teaching materials from these faculty members who are committed to teaching and taking that and turning it into business. And so that was pretty much uh, the final uh, thing we needed here to say, no MIT.com. But we had to report to the president and give him some bold idea for MIT in the e-learning space. And uh, particularly based on the, what the 60 faculty, mem uh, 60 faculty members told us about the MIT faculty's very deep, very deep commitment to teaching, he said, why don't we create a system that's exactly the opposite, exactly the opposite of what we started with and what the rest of the world was doing and say, we're going to just give it away. Just give it away so that anyone, anywhere in the world, can take advantage of MIT faculty's commitment to education. That's how we started with OpenCourseWare. If you look at OpenCourseWare and see why it's been so successful and why it has resonated with the faculty. You know, I remember uh, 
just a few days after MIT announced the open courseware, it was front page article in the New York Times, a young faculty member came up to me and said that the day MIT announced open courseware was the proudest day of his career at MIT. Okay? Why did he say that? Why did it resonate so much with the faculty? The reason, I believe, is because OpenCourseWare is not just OpenCourseWare separate from MIT, but OpenCourseWare is very much a mission uh, that MIT has as an, as an institution. Okay? If you look at the MIT mission, not the OCW mission, MIT mission on the web, it says that uh, MIT is committed to generating, disseminating, and preserving knowledge and to bring this knowledge to bear on all the, the great uh, challenges of the world. MIT has traditionally fulfilled that requirement, that, that mission, with basic research. But now with OpenCourseWare, we can also fulfill that mission with our teaching by disseminating and preserving our teaching materials. <laughs>